Hi everyone and welcome to this week's episode and yes we made it, we've made it to episode 52 which means that the episodes have been running for a whole year now which is really very very exciting. Now this week I am going to be focusing on getting my brassicas in and I know before you all say you're far too late, I know I'm too late, I know I'm behind but better late than never that's my uh, philosophy for this year because of the weather and that's the philosophy i'm sticking to now as you can probably see behind me I, that is um the area i'm going to be using and i am I, well i have weeded it before i've started filming today so you're not going to have to watch all the boring weeding stuff but what i am going to do now is build my brassica structures um, i'm going to show you what brassicas i'm going to be planting out and then how to net it and ensure that they stay safe for the coming year so Stay tuned and uh, let's get cracking with this week's episode. This year I am having two brassica um, areas, we shall call it all within the same bed. So the way I do it is I use the piping that you can get in sort of DIY stores or trade stores, places like Screwfix or B&Q and basically I arch them over and then put my brassicas underneath and then net them with a really fine mesh um, scaffold in there again which you can get from those sorts of stores. Now this year I've done slightly less, last year I did three um, cages but this year I'm only doing two because I want more space for my squash varieties that I'm trying this year and I want to give them the most space I can to grow. So varieties I am planting out this year are as follows. So I've got my um, Kalet, uh, I'm trying to find one to show you. So, oh. So I've got um, Kalets, which are here, um, all looking quite healthy but all so ready to go out now. Everything is sort of at their limit in their pots and yeah, they're ready to go out onto the allotment now. Um, then I have got my Brussels sprouts, these are my dad's favourite. Um, I really just grow them for him to be honest, he absolutely loves them. So they are green marble variety, same as last year, which grew really, really well. Uh, what else have I got in here? I have got my Savoy cabbages, which are a little bit smaller. Um, they're all about the same sort of size, actually. I would say these are probably ones that are the slowest or the furthest behind, but that's all right. We're still going to give them a chance. Um, Moving on to cauliflower, I've gone for all the year round this year. Again, they do look a bit small, they do look a bit behind, but I'm hoping they'll catch up once they get in the ground. And then last but not least, I have got, oh, blimey, these are all tangled as well, my autumn calabrese of broccoli. So what the plan is, is I am going to give you a, a quick look at the area and how I've set up my um, piping. Then what I'm gonna do is start deciding where these are gonna go. I'm then gonna plant them out and then I'll show you how I net them too. So let's go over to the area now and get started. So you can see here that this is the piping for my first brassica cage. So what I'll do is usually I put two or three varieties under each net. Uh, sorry under each cage and then I um, basically cover them with net but I've got five varieties this year so I'm going to need two nets uh, two cages I don't know why I keep saying nets um, two cages so I'm going to put that one in now directly next to the next one so you can see how it's done all I will do is put the fork in the ground stick the piping in by about two or three inches and cover it back up it really is quite quick and straightforward but I'll give you a little show and tell
So as you can see, I've put my nets over um, just temporarily just to make sure they fitted really because these um, cages are different sizes to what they were last year. Like I said earlier in the video, I had three last year and I'm only having two this year. So that makes a big, big difference. So before I put my plants in, um, which are behind me, I'm just going to quickly talk to you about a couple more things I do with my brassica cage. So firstly, I always get these pins to use for my brassica cage. Um, same with other things that I cover. Um, they're reusable, they obviously you don't throw them away every year and you can use them on all of your crops. They're basically just hooks and what I do is I hook them around the edge of the netting and then hammer them into the ground so that I don't lose my netting and it doesn't blow away. Um, they also look a lot nicer. I know you can use things like milk bottles full of water but these give you sort of a really secure fit down to the ground and doesn't let little things get in underneath. You have to be particularly careful with brassicas because of cabbage fly, um, white cabbage fly, just to make sure you don't get caterpillars on your brassicas because obviously they will then lay eggs, turn into butterflies and they will decimate your brassica patch which you definitely don't want. So these are what I use. Also to give the end um, pipes a bit of support what I tend to do is tie some string around the middle pull it outwards um, to give it make it taut and then I use one of these hooks and hammer that into the ground so it just gives them a little bit more extra strength so I'm going to do that get all my brassicas out um, it is still really really warm the sun is going down now I've had a little bit of a break since this morning so I'm going to get these all planted up and then I think it will be time to head home
So as you can see, this is now the first one fully completed. And if you look closely, you can see where I've put all the pins around the edge just to hold the netting down. It also makes it really easy when you come to weed because you just pull the pins out and you can basically crawl right in. So yeah, that's really, really good. So that is one down and one to go. Though I think I'm gonna come back tomorrow and do that one because I'm absolutely exhausted. So that's the first one done behind me. And as you can see, it's really, really easy when you put the pins in just to make sure you hold that netting down, just to make sure you keep any little pests out. But I just wanted to take the time, as I always do, to say thank you so much for watching this video. I still cannot believe we're up to a year's worth of footage now. And it's really bizarre when I go back and watch the footage from a year ago. It just, yeah. It feels really weird, but yeah, thank you from the bottom of my heart for always tuning in and always taking the time to leave those lovely comments. I know I said it before at the start of the episode, but it really does mean a lot. So hopefully by the time I see you next week, the brassicas will all be finished, both cages all done and netted, and then I'll be moving on to something else. Though I haven't quite decided yet because I've got so much to do. Um, so I'm going to have a little think over the coming days and then decide what's going to be in next week's video. Before I go, I just want to take the time to show you some of the lupins which are behind me because there's no other way to describe it, but they look spectacular. So I've got to show you them just before I leave. But as always, if you did like this video, please do give it a like. You can always leave me a comment and you can subscribe for further content. But thank you for tuning in as always and I will see you all really really soon. Look after each other, stay safe in this sunshine but make sure you enjoy it. Take care and I'll see you all very soon. Bye! These are just the lupins I wanted to show you before I go. My poor cherry tree has been taken over by them. But they look amazing this year. I'm really 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 impressed but yeah i just wanted to show you them before i left see you all next week guys bye